Hey guys, if you've had trouble signing up for Oracle's free tier account, I think this video is going to help you out. Usually people have trouble when they get to the address and payment verification stage. Oracle uses a card verification and this is where a lot of people struggle to get through the sign up process. So I had someone reach out from my subscribers and they shared a method that worked. So I'm going to share that with you today. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So this is the error that a lot of people end up with. We're unable to complete your sign up. Common sign up errors are due to A, using prepaid cards, Oracle only accepts credit or debit cards, intentionally or unintentionally masking one's location or identity, or C, entering incomplete or inaccurate account details. So this is the, probably the one we're gonna focus on today because this was able to solve someone's problem and I'm gonna show you exactly how they did this. So the most important step here is when you get up to the address information during your sign up, you'll see you've got three lines of addresses, city, state, uh, zip code, It'll depend on your country, what exactly shows up here. I'm in Australia, so this is what it looks like for me. This is where you have to get this to match exactly what your bank details are. So your address here needs to match exactly the card that you're going to be using to do your uh, verification through the card verification system. So Oracle is going to check that the card matches the address that you've filled in exactly, and I mean exactly. So there's two things you can check. The first thing is to check a bank statement, check the bank statement, check the address on here, enter it exactly. So when I say exactly, I mean, you can see street here is just capital ST. Sometimes they write the full uh, word street. Sometimes they will put S with a little T and a dot maybe. Just check that exactly. That will be your address line one in this case. So this is the sort of detail that you need to pay attention to. This is all caps. So if they've written it in all caps, you need to use all caps. Those are the exact details you need to use. The other thing you can do is check your mobile banking app and check your account details there as well. Sometimes it doesn't exactly match what's on your statement. So um, in one case, someone wasn't able to sign up using the statement details, but on their actual app, they used the details in there and that actually did work. So um, go ahead and check your mobile banking app, check your account details there and make sure things are entered exactly. In this case, street is capital ST. Um, those details like place or avenue, just check if it's just uh, an abbreviation, if it has a dot, enter those details exactly as they appear on your banking details. All right, so then after you've entered that exactly, that it matches your bank details exactly, then you go through the pay payment verification system, you put in your credit or debit card details. Now, I know a few of you have speculated that only credit cards work and debit cards don't work. That's not true. I have seen cases of debit cards working, so go ahead and try debit cards. They can work on here. And once you've got that done, that should solve a lot of problems for you guys. So hopefully, um, you've been able to sign up after watching this one and you've got access to those four virtual CPUs and 24 gigabytes of RAM. Um, tremendous value on that free tier. I'll put the original tutorials for setting up this free tier at the end of the video as well. So check those, those ones out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.